Hi guys, I'm Tony and I am the Board Housewife. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. If you may or may not know, I am on my lock journey. Um, this is my first set of locks and I am one day away from six weeks. So this will be my six week up hair update. All right, and if you see me looking down, I just have notes so I can kind of stay on topic here. So the topic of today is a bit of a rant. It is, what did I get myself into? What was I thinking? It's not all going to be fun and, and easy. I know that nobody said it was going to be easy, but <sighs> I haven't done anything to my hair. I got out of bed. I took my bonnet off. I shook it like this and that's it. So that's what you're seeing right now. Raw and unedited right there. So as you can see, I am dealing with quite a bit of fuzz, fuzz, frizziness, but you know what irritates me the most? It's not the fuzz, it's not the frizziness, because even though I hate the fuzz and the frizziness, this, let me just, let me find a good one to show you. It's stuff like this. Hold on, let me show you. Stuff like this. When is this ever gonna lock? Never. That's what it feels like. And I have all these wispy little pieces all over in the front. Now the back is doing something. It's doing something. I got buds. It looks like it's trying to maybe seal at the end on some of these. So it's progressing nicely. And you know, I'm here to show you guys the good, the bad, and the not so pretty. So I'm in here looking like this. I don't think I've ever seen this on some of these people's lock videos. Nothing this, like, nobody told me about this. Nobody told me that there were gonna be pieces of my hair that were gonna be completely different than the rest of my hair and just decide that, no, I'm not gonna lock. Nobody told me that. So, what has happened in the last week? Okay, so what I have noticed in the past week is since I started using the grapeseed oil, which if you haven't seen already, go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked in the card section or in the description box. Um, the oil has been doing well. Um, I will do a product review on that once I have, you know, enough information about the product to give an accurate and honest um, review of it, but so far I like it. I like it. I feel like my hair is less dry on the scalp area But I also feel like this morning I got I took my bonnet off and I was just touching touching them my star locks and They're just crunchy like I don't know if you could hear that like me rolling it in my fingers. It's just I hate that sound It's like crispity crackety crunchity sound and I don't like it, but Nevertheless, I have made it a week without washing my hair I am trying to make it a full two weeks before I actually do another wash. And if I can make it thin, then maybe I can retwist. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. The shrinkage. The shrinkage has been real. Um, I don't know if you can see, but my hair was about, about this length beforehand. If you saw in my last video um, where I shared pictures from when I started this, um, once I wet it, it shrunk up quite a bit, um, and it seems to be continuing to shrink a little bit. Um, I haven't lost a lot of length so far, but um, yeah. One thing I would like to share that I don't think anybody else has recently is that your bonnet size matters. So if you have longer starter locks like I do, if you wear a smaller bonnet, it kind of pushes them up. And then when you take them down, they're all smushed. All smushed down to your head and up like this, like you had had a bob of some sort and so every morning when I take it down I do do something like this and when I spray it I kind of stretch them out to kind of put them back hi guys sorry about that the SD card got full so I'm back but like I was saying um, in the mornings I will have to pull them stretch them out once I spray them with my rose oil concoction that I make um, and that does help but the bonnet size does matter. I do have a bigger one that I um, bought with the intent to wear with my faux locks that I had. Um, and since they were much longer, 
about mid back um, there's a lot more room in there so they don't they don't squish them up so just keep that in mind bonnet size does matter um, let me see anything else new or noteworthy it's pretty much the same as last week um, I am gonna be doing some more videos here shortly um, it's, it's pretty much my batch video day so uh, stay tuned and as always share where you are in your journey or if you're on a journey share comments about what's going on with me and my journey just ask that there is respect in the comments so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.